Shane is chasing. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <sighs> hey, welcome back to Sensi Fish Dudes. So I'm always getting instant messages, private messages, text messages, things like, hey, how do I get started with creek fishing and uh, or small river fishing? Because I see you guys do that all the time. And we do, we do that all the time, especially in the summer. So I thought for this video, what better than to have an introduction to creek fishing, creek fishing 101. And what better to have an introductory video by bringing a creek fishing noob with us. We got Shane with us today. Shane, when's the last time you fished? Well over 20 years. 20 years, 20 years. Do you ever do creek fishing, mostly lakes? Nope, all ponds and lakes. Awesome, so we got a creek fishing noob. Okay, let's get started with the basics. So today we're gonna do a skinny creek. Um, you know, if you've never been in a creek before and you don't know where you're going, if you're by yourself, I would say wear a PFD, a personal flotation device, life jacket. They make great thin life jackets that you can carry all your tackle with. But I know this creek. I'm with Shane today. We're not gonna, you know, I'm not by myself, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm using ultra light rods. Shane's got an ultra light, I got a medium light, um, just some Shimano reels, and we're gonna use grubs, single tail grubs. Real quick, some creeks are bigger than others, and the creek we're doing tonight is a small one, so I won't need my bait casters because I'm not gonna be throwing larger baits like this, square build crankbaits, uh, I'm not gonna be throwing jerk baits or you know, big paddle tails or anything like that. So since we're using small finesslers, like the little grubs, we're gonna be using light spinning rods. So let's take a look at those grubs. These are crappie grubs. And we're gonna use all these different colors. Uh, but these things catch everything from small mouth to large mouth to you name it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of crap slap sauce on there. And it's just uh, has some pheromones and uh, fish oils and stuff that, that keep that uh, grub in the fish's mouth a little bit longer so you can set that hook. And once you see how many fish we catch with these, you can order these for yourself at cascray.com. Use our promo code right here to get 10% off. Link in the description below. All right, Shane, you ready? I am. Let's do this. If you don't know already, I'm pro staff for Cascray. So I may be a little bit partial and they support the channel. And every time you purchase something with our code, you are also supporting the channel. But creek fishing is not necessarily limited to single tail grubs. That's just what I prefer. And this whole video is what I prefer through best practices and experience. Some things I might do might not be something you agree with. Some other great little lures that you can use in the creeks are, you know, inline spinners, all different types of colors. You can use prop style topwater. Um, crankbaits are great. Small jigs, small profile jigs do well depending on your vegetation. You never never go wrong with something like a six stick or any kind of stick worm and also you can't forget ned rigs any kind of nubs or things like that work awesome in the creek but for this video we're sticking with those single tail grubs hey before i forget another great little fishing lure are helgramites um, especially have those in your region helgramites slay on the creeks all right what i was telling shane is i use on both of these a really light 10 pound braid um, alberta knot tied to a six to four pound fluorocarbon lead just the basics keep that string up here closest to my finger open the bale i whip it out there close the bale and then i pull up the pull slack out of the line so that it doesn't bird's nest in the future cast and then with this grub i'm just kind of keeping my rod up in the air and lightly uh swimming it back to me and we have a uh, bait fish following which is a good sign we are at a freaky day in the middle of 90 degrees. We have all of a sudden, we have a 71 degree day. Pressure right now is at 29.76. So we got a low pressure front. With a cool day in the middle of a hot summer month, we might get a bite tonight. There you go. Yeah, keep that rod up so it does. Sometimes it gets stuck underneath those rocks. Whenever you have a flowing stream that goes into a still water like this, um, you usually get like fish that wait for fish see them all attack oh there they are yeah they love to attack oh, shit. <laughs> Shane, we're already on a small mouth i thought this was going to be a, a green sunfish i just got a tiny small mouth let me uh, small let me show mouth. you 
yeah these things can get huge these are these are the the, the ones that we're going to aim for although bigger today okay that's a smallmouth bass and what i was telling shane is when you have a stream like this this fresh oxygenated water comes through brings bay fish in and they just sit here and they ambush them as they come through you can see a whole school in there Although for this video, we're fishing downstream because of where our car is parked and where we have to head back, I recommend fishing upstream. Um, it's better. It's safer. You use the current to work at your advantage. You are less detectable to fish. They're not looking at you and you're not kicking up soot and sending it downstream with yourself. Now, there are other times when fishing downstream has its purposes, but for this video, I'm recommending going upstream. They hide in there. Yeah. They love rocks. That's right, I'm gonna try it. I mean, you go and they love deep water. water. Yeah, go for it. So remember, go go faster than like this fast. Which fast? Right? This fast. Oh damn, dude! All right, we're on with our second smallmouth in like 10 minutes, Shane. All right, not necessarily the size we're going for, but we got another smallmouth, tiny one. Let's see if we can upgrade and keep working our way up as this creek gets deeper. So they. They love any kind of branches, sticks in the water, or any kind of rocks that are in the water. Anywhere they can hide and ambush. Check this one out. Look at that green, Sonny. How many is that for you so far? I think it's four. All right, here's our second species of the night. The green sunfish. We're gonna, we're gonna be catching lots of these. I'm not gonna show all of them, but these are uh, very prolific in the creeks in this area. All right, chain's on. <laughs> green sunfish okay so we uh we just take we just take the line and if you ever need more line just open your bail okay see these remember bluegills how they have yeah, this spine? i remember they get this spine. this is this is what we do <laughs> this is what we do shane we just put our hands down it like that okay. yours don't have really don't have those spines up yeah you can just grab yours a full body all right and then you kind of just wiggle the jig out It's okay if you have to pop. Uh, there you go. Nice, you're on the board. I always wear a uh, pair of polarized sunglasses that cuts that glare off the top of the water surface where you can see everything underneath. But today is very overcast and dark and I just don't need sunglasses today, but it really, it really does work. When this is underwater, bass like hang out in this grass. It's cool. Running water coming in, flat water structure i bet you're gonna catch something that's pretty deep yeah there you go got a green sunny off the bat i'll take that off for you is that another one of those little uh -huh. same dudes yeah um using lures that's pretty effective i know <laughs> you're doing great by the way oh don't don't be afraid to snag don't be afraid. Anywhere you snag is where the fish hang out. When you cast, wait like one second before you start luring because they often like attack it when it's falling. That is a huge green sunfish. Oh, look at that. Shit. That was huge. I thought that was a smallie for a second. Another sunny. It's another green sunny. They just feel so vulnerable. It's like being in the middle of a desert uh, and when it's all sandy bottoms like this. All right. Hey, is that a, that's, that's a bluegill. A bass? That's a bluegill. So that adds a... Oh. Let me, oh, green sunny. Another green sunny. It's your graffiti face. All right, Shane's got his graffiti fish, green sunfish. <laughs> All right, we're looking for that smallmouth, man. Where do you think that's going to be, Shane? Once we get past these sandy bottom ones and get more to the rock bottom, we might find some smallies. And also, I, I kind of, I wet my hand. They have this, like, protective slime. I try to keep that on them. You know what I mean? They can get diseases. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Nice catch. Well, geez, first cast in this hole. Whoa! Is that? Oh, you got it. <laughs> we got to get more than green sunnies. For you at home, another essential creek fishing, or fishing in general tool to have a set of pliers where you can take these hooks out in case they ever get stuck up in there. And I also have a set of line cutters. Shane, 
It's the first largemouth bass, and we get another species for the night. <laughs> now, largemouth, you can just lip them. And I kind of want to hold them. But Hell usually, yeah. it's not the way I like to hold them, but there you go, Shane. Nice cat. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Yeah, dude, that was great. You see that rock ledge there? They love shelves like that. And you just went right along a shelf. What I'm putting on Shane now is the Crap Slap Minner. Got a little bit of a different tail back there. Look yeah, at that wiggly worked. wiggler. That, that'll right. get a little more attention. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Although on this fishing trip, I forgot my net. I do recommend carrying a little net with you. Um, they're great for, you know, you got that big catch. I've lost many personal best smallmouth because I didn't have a net with me and I've lost them while messing around with the line. Um, you can also keep the species alive in case, you know, like there's a hook in their mouth. You can keep them in the water and remove the hook. Um, certain species like trout, you don't want to be handling um, carp and things like that. So I recommend a net. It helps, especially a little one that can attach to the back of your uh, bag and be pulled on. I love being out in the middle of the woods in a creek and coming up on like old structures like this. Love it. There's a big bass. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't see us. Cast it about right there. Shane is chasing. Oh, 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 you got oh. I have such light line. I don't want to lose them. Shane, there's two big ones in here. Oh, this is... Oh my God. It's on this light rod. It's hilarious. That's a smallie. That's a, that's a good smallie. Oh my, Shane, hold my light. Hold my rod. This is what we were looking for. Look how skinny of the water it was hiding out in. Yeah. Could you believe that was sitting there wow. of all places? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Dude, get a picture of yes. Yeah, this is so strong. Look at that right there. That's what we're here for tonight, Shane. A big, uh, small, not only that, in this tiny creek on a tiny crap slap grub and you could order yours right now again check out that link in the description Damn, I am having a here. what's up what's that fat sunny Camera. <gasps> it's right under your foot. Now I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna remove the battery. It, it, <laughs> allegedly, it's weatherproof, rainproof. Yeah, I, I would think it probably will be all right, dude. Like you said, it's that, it's made for outdoors, so. That camera is currently locked and sealed inside of a bag inside of Tupperware with a bunch of silica gel packets. Um, just gonna dry it out over a couple weeks, who knows, but it's not looking good. Did you get that on the bleeding pumpkin? I'm still mystified that these little lures, that, that you can catch fish so successfully with those things, man. And uh, I didn't tell him to say that, guys. Never. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, we're losing daylight out here. So Shane, we got your first largemouth. It's PB largemouth and it's first fish in over 20 years. But the bite of the night was the green sunfish, which we have a lot of in our creeks. Some people have a lot of bluegills. Some people have a lot of creek chubs, a lot of rock bass, depends on your region. But we have a lot of green sunnies. And somewhere in all those little green sunny bites, you're gonna find that nice small mouth. Special thanks to Shane for joining me along tonight in his first fishing trip in decades. It's awesome that he got his first largemouth bass with us. Thank you for sticking around to this introduction to creek fishing with the Cincy Fish Dudes. If you like what you see and you want to see more, we'll be back in one week. So subscribe, hit that bell, like, give us a comment down below. We love all of our subscribers on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and the Fish Brain app. 
we'll see you next week on Cincy Fish Dudes. <laughs>